Hello and welcome to a new series on my YouTube channel, Let's Compose, where I take you through my entire composition process from empty page until finished project. I'll record myself composing in sessions of one and a half hours, which I will then edit down into shorter YouTube videos. You'll get an insight in the good ideas, the bad ones, the entire thought process, and mainly my scatterbrain going all over the place trying to make sense of things. I am stupid, that's what happened. I'll answer a couple of questions you might have at the end of this video, but please let me know with the comments if you like this format and if there's something I can improve upon. In today's episode, I'll be starting a new piece. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. Gathering ideas. All right, I'm just gonna move it over for later. You can join your idea friends over here and it can go to the idea friends section. Where is that? That's here. And working on a heavy low string staccato opening. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get this started. I have now a blank screen in front of me and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, except for the fact that I want to use the new spot mics from Cinematic Studio Strings, especially in the low register. I heard this demo and I really liked how these sounded uh, more close up. So I'm just gonna try something here. I like how this sounds. Let's do the same for the double basses. I just, I now I just put the spot mics on basically max. <laughs> I like how this sounds. More close up. Close up. I am very grateful for a retrospective record for when I do something that I kind of like. I did an ending here, which went C, E flat, and back to D minor. D, E, F, D, C sharp. G, F, D, B flat. G, A, D, C sharp. C, E flat, F. I like that ending. And then we'll take it from there. did not go as planned but let me see oh there's something i can do against that that we have and then in a higher voice that's nice uh let's just quickly record that rhythm in violas before i forget it i just need the um the curve so i remember it and then i can mute this i'm just gonna re-record this I'm rushing, which might mean that the tempo needs to be a little bit higher. Let's try 125. Okay, this is too fast. <laughs> That's not bad. I need something else that adds a doon, 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 just a something that goes. I'm thinking double bassoon. I don't know why I'm thinking double bassoon, but I'm doing so. Or. No, I'm going to keep the bassoons for something later. Don't know what, but I will. Am I going to go in fifths or... I am gonna go, well, fourths actually. I also need a um, tremolo at some point. Will I go or Okay, this does not <laughs> work. Okay, so I just thought of a little counter movement for later in the higher strings, but then I immediately forgot it, which is why it's a very good thing I'm recording this, so I can always look it back. All right, I'm just going to move it over for later. All right, and now I need a 
tremolo. Maybe for the tremolos, I just use the regular mix. Oh, I need two notes. And then for the shorts, I'll keep the, um, the close up one. All right, that's a good start. I was just thinking, I think I will double the cello in Cinematic Studio solo strings. So we even have more of this uh, detailed sound. Do I alter the mix here? I'm just gonna try. It's very subtle, but it does add a little bit of detail. Uh, maybe a little bit of sul ponticello action in the second violins. The, oh, this is not even... This is just symphonic orchestra. Oh, that's nostalgic. <laughs> this is the first sample library I ever bought. It's doubling this, so I'm just gonna copy it. Just a little bit of an edge. I'm just trying to figure out what chords could potentially be over uh, that bass line. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. <laughs> uh, pedal. Where are you? There you are. So we have, so far, D minor, A major, D minor, so 151, one. G minor, G minor, D minor, and then here I need something no that <laughs> okay from where do i want to go back B flat minor. That doesn't. Uh, mm, wait. I make a lot of weird noises when I compose. Is mm, maybe that's something. Almost there. Almost there. Wait, I'm gonna record this so I don't forget it. So now I have D minor, D minor, A major, D minor, G minor. D minor, uh, B flat minor, question mark, D minor. That could be interesting. So there is, it's, it's a B flat minor going down with the semitone. The melody goes up, but maybe then the chord can do pretend like it's going down. Because that's what you would expect. So then it would be B with B major. Okay, that's I like that. But then I don't like this parallel movement now. So maybe we do it like this. Let's keep it like this for now. I don't know when I will use this, uh, but it's nice to have like a, a backup chord sequence for when we get to another section or a climax or whatever. This will be muted and can join his violin friends later on. I think I will just repeat this and add one extra layer. Can I do that? It's my piece. I can do whatever I want. Just trying out those chords we just came up with. Okay, I like that it's an ascending line, but the end is weird. Maybe I just need F major there instead of F minor. I didn't like F minor. I'm not sure if I like this either. I like the I like the chromatic movement. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it straight away. You can join your 
ID your friends over here. Do a little variation in the second time. And then we go to the higher D. Ooh. It's all about this minor second movement here, with most prominently the D to C sharp. Now I'm adding B flat to A. So we have and then and then we continue the minor second movement. I think I prefer that. And then here we need a crescendo to here. And then here the choir enters. There we go. Where are you with your friends? Of course you are. Is this now weird? It is funky. Is it weird? It's not. This needs to be a little bit louder. So we get a little bit of a curvature to that top note. So now we have we go towards this higher note and then fall back a bit and then here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm gonna do some more work on the velocities here. So we get more of, of these uh, kind of curves. Going to the high note. Going to this low note. Dun. And then here, this is quite low and a bit tense, so there it can drop a little bit. So these last three notes come back out. Dun, 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 dun. I like that. It's more of a pick a bar. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I need some percussion there. Maybe I can just make that a sort of a pattern. I think in the end I'll add a snare drum just on the last one. Maybe the other snare drum. No, this doesn't need to start. We need the cellos and basses to start. And we also don't need percussion right away. I'll add it from there. Maybe also the uh, brushed bombs. And then the lower. See how those are together. All right, I like that. I was thinking maybe I can use just fourths on A and D first, and then the second time we repeat it, then we build up, and then after that build up, we get some kind of a melodic section. But I'm not sure. Also because the chords I wrote go with the first half of the melody rather than the second. I want some Skyrim-like shouts there in <laughs> low basses. Okay, I'm gonna just try it over the basses, and then it is for the second time of asking. Mm, I'm not sure. Where do I have my shouts? I just used them in my last track. I'm thinking the tremolos need to be softer. Just want them to be this quiet later layer in the background. When the percussion enters, I would like something else to enter. Maybe some low brass. And some tuba. I'm not sure what it does yet. I do know now. It does nothing. Maybe I'm... I want to add too much. I have the feeling like I wanted to throw all my ideas in this first section. Uh, while that's not necessary. I can just let it develop 
slowly and naturally. And now I want to repeat this and I can always add variations later. I'm not sure about this. Oh yeah, we were working on the shouts. And then I got to do something else. Because I don't remember where I found my shouts. And I need some shouts. Like, you know, the Skyrim. <gasps> I think this, these are from Era 2. Yes. I don't remember where I wanted these. I think it was under repetition. Yeah, there. <gasps> oh, this is not going to reverb yet. <laughs> uh, not enough at least. Little choir. There we go. Very weird. In this other track, I got another one, but I don't remember <laughs> which library that is. There we go. I remember. Basis, FX, shouts. Will I keep it? I'm not sure. But for now, it's good. Maybe there I need a. This is too early. Maybe I just do it on the last bar. I think I'll add some timpani. Of course. Then a little bit earlier, so it ends on the here. That's the one. And I believe these timings are quite similar. Yeah, but you're going there. <laughs> I like that. I want to try something. I often like combining uh, like two notes with trills because it adds like a little bit of uh, tension in there. I could also just do a regular long note, uh, but I think just the trill adds just a little bit of texture there. Okay, now there is no definition left. Uh, maybe the bassoons can do that lower octave. Then it's in the end, it's on the same octave as the contra bassoon. And then you know it's also a bit of variation that it doesn't start on the one, but instead just before it. This does sound a little bit weird. Do, 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 do. I have to imagine. I don't have to imagine. I have to imagine. There's percussion there. That's. I kind of like that. And I could perhaps also do the trill in the horn. Then maybe higher. It's nice, but I want more X of an, then I want more of an accent here. Mm, bit too loud, maybe. Or it's still loud. But I'm not sure if I want to have it on this octave or the lower octave. I think this is a nice balance. Loud enough, but not in your face. It does take away a little bit of the trill that I have now. Which I also like. I think I'm just going to keep it with the trill. We're still building up and I can keep this for later. But it's not necessary now. Do I add an ostinato layer here? Let's just try something. I don't know. I need some compression on this one because I have noticed that that often the top starts screaming a little bit. This is quite heavy, but like I said, sometimes when I have very loud choir stuff with Oceania, it starts to rumble in my... When I have like that stuff going on, which I do like for later, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I don't remember what I, what I just played. That's why we have retrospective records. 
Thank you, QAs. I like this melody for later. Keep this here just as an idea so I don't forget it. And it can go to the idea friends section. Where is that? That's here. So then we have a build up here with maybe different notes in the bass ostinato as well. And then from here we have, I don't know, first climax melody. I don't have any kind of structure prepared. I'm just go along with it, seeing where things uh, lead me. And I have now been going for one and a half hours, which is uh, what I was thinking of making these composition sessions. So let's just go over where we are one more time. that last part still needs some work uh, but i think i'm gonna leave it for here thanks for watching the first episode of let's compose i hope you like this please let me know in the comments and with one of those and here's a couple of questions nobody asked yet first one how many episodes will there be that will depend on if you like this series or not i have committed to finishing this piece this way so there will at least be as many episodes as it will take me to finish this piece but it'll depend on how well these videos do second question will you live stream this that also depends on the response this video gets so if you would like to see me do a live stream with one of these episodes let me know again in the comments down below and the final question can we watch the footage somewhere yes you can the complete unedited footage of my recording will be available at the four euro 50 tier on my patreon which i have linked below and that's it the next episode has already been recorded and will be available somewhere next week a huge thank you and shout out to my patrons Danny Lynch, Carl L, Matthijs Dierks and Michello. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry, you had to endure that.